Hello folks, welcome to Legacy IS. In today's video, we'll be looking at the art and architecture of a Kilji dynasty. Alright, so you now when it comes to Kilji dynasty, we consider them as the early indo mohammedan architecture, which was later continued on a larger scale in your Tughlaq dynasty. Alright, see now again we've seen with respect to Kilji. So now just with respect to Kilji, if you take the whole of Delhi Sultanate, well, there was huge fight in setting up of power. Right, in setting up of power, there was a huge struggle and power fight. In this, okay, the amount or the period of time that each one of them were on the power was considerably less. Okay, so it is considered, for example, let's take Qutub Minar. Okay, when we take Qutub Minar, right, this has, okay, your uh, started by your slave dynasty, then additions to it are done by your KLG dynasty. Further, it keeps on going. So, you have a particular architecture to which additional architecture is added by upcoming dynasties. Okay, similar is with respect to your KLG dynasty also. One very large important work is with respect to your Alai Darwaza, forms the southern gateway of your uh, Kutub complex, and also your uh, Malikafur build the Idga at Rabri, okay, and Jamat Khana Masjid in Delhi, right. Again, no one thing here. With respect to your architecture and your Delhi sultans, is there will be continuations that is. Yes, it might have been begun by one empire, one dynasty, okay, but the continuation will be by your subsequent dynasties, okay. And second thing, not much architectures are also seen or visible. Why? Because they were very busy in your power setup and power control. So this took up most of their time. All right. Moving along. See, look at this. This is the court on the east of the mosque which predicts the early architecture of your Khiljis. Alright. Next is your Alay Minar. See? Okay, next see this is your Alay Minar. Okay, this is incomplete. That is they haven't been able to complete it. Next, this is the window of Alay Darwaza. Look at the intricate details and the markings. Alright. Especially look at this particular structure. Alright. In your head, one thing if you have to see with respect to your Khilji. Okay. Kings are that. One of the prominent one being your Alauddin Khilji. Even though he was uneducated. Alright. Even though he was uneducated, he laid extreme stress on architecture and schooling. Okay, he has been patronized and influenced by Mir Hasan and Amir Kusro, and also there were a good amount of historians present. Okay, to make sure that, all right, the history speaks about him or he picks what history should pick about him. Again, we've seen multiple things in the past that history picks people, and people cannot pick history. All right. And now with respect to the architectural part, as we have spoken about, there is a lot of continuance and also large amount of it was power struggle and power setup which took important place. Despite that, we see a good amount of architecture. More than good amount, more than good amount of architecture in the quantity, we can see it with respect to your quality. Alright, that's it for the content on the art and architecture of your Kinji dynasty. If you do like our content, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button and share it along with your friends. Thank you.